Hi folks, I'm meteorologist Jay Birschback along with Carl Nelson at the Imagination Station. Today we're dealing with the power of ethanol, a very clean burning fuel which we're going to demonstrate here over exactly. the next minute or so. Go that, ahead that's Carl. That's why I use that as an additive for gasoline. We've got some ethanol here, it's about 180 proof, 95% alcohol. And you can see it burns with a really clean flame. Yes. Right? There's no soot or anything coming off. And we're right. going to use this idea of ethanol burning and combustion okay. to power a, a rocket. Okay. okay. Now, I do have to point out, this is not an experiment you are going to try at home. Good we do advice. have a safe version of this using just water. Check out our website. But for you and I, Jay, we're going to use the ethanol. Why don't you go okay. ahead and get rid of that flame there it goes. tray. All righty. Here's what I'm going to suggest we do. We take some ethanol and we put it inside a uh, two-liter jug here. Sure. We're going to get rid of the excess ethanol. And now inside we have a mixture of water, or I'm sorry, of air and ethanol. Okay. I'm going to lay this on our table. In fact, let's get rid of all of the liquid. We don't want any liquid in there because that's just going to leave a flaming trail on the table. <laughs> what we really want... Like back is, to the future. Like back to the future, yes, exactly. Okay. What we want is just a mixture of air and alcohol. Okay. Pretty impressive. So the combustion happens inside the container, it ejects the gases, and it takes off and there you go, there's your back to the future. Thank we you, did yes. get a little bit of flaming up. No on flux the capacitor though. <laughs> Not today. No. no flux capacitor. Wonderful. But what would be even better, I think, is if we could somehow take the force of that gas that's coming out the back of the bottle and restrict it or actually increase the pressure by using a tiny little hole. So I got a tiny little hole here, about a quarter inch okay. on the bottle cap, and that should increase the speed of a rocket. In theory, all right. Let's, this is my sure. Uh, that's why we do experiments. This is my guess. All right, I'm gonna back up on this one. <laughs> Why don't you give me a countdown here? And let's see what happens. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one. <laughs> Isn't that nice? I mean, that sounded and looked just like like a, a rocket, rocket like off. a firework or something. Absolutely. That and is amazing. All because we restricted the gas to a smaller opening. I mean, this is like what you do when you're designing rockets. The the nozzle design is very important. Let's try that again. That was is this a different point. nozzle or same nozzle? Same size nozzle. All right, I'm gonna back up. You know, it's, it, we hit the pillar over there. This time, let's see if we can miss the pillar. Give me a countdown. Three, two, one. <laughs> Bleachers this time. It just takes off. Thank goodness we cleared the crowd out. We did, so no good. crowd today. Yes. But again, not an experiment you can do at home, but it's all about combustion happening inside that rocket, something that uh, rocket scientists actually have to worry about. Sure. Nozzle design to eject the mass as quickly as possible to increase the velocity of the rocket going forward. That is amazing. Very clean burning fuel. Ethyl alcohol. Absolutely. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much, Carl Nelson. For Carl, I'm Jay Birschback, and that was Imagine It.